We're here at McGee Women's Hospital with Operation Walk. This is the second annual event for the group in Pittsburgh, and we're talking with Dr. Brian Hamlin. Uh, Dr. Hamlin, can you tell me how you got involved with Operation Walk? Well, um, about a year ago, uh, Tony DeJoya, who is the founder of Operation Walk Pittsburgh, asked me to participate uh, and to also contribute uh, for o Operation Walk Pittsburgh, which is a, um, a local uh, home event for what's really a national organization. So traditionally, it's been a program that has provided uh, uh, arthroplasty surgery or joint replacement surgery uh, for patients with arthritis of the hip and knee in third world countries, so places where they don't have resources, they don't have physicians to, to provide these uh, uh, opportunities. And the idea uh, grew partly from within the organization, but also from our own patients in Pittsburgh that we asked to give uh, to help fund Operation Walk that goes to uh, places like Guatemala or Panama. Um, that, you know, why don't we do something at home? And so the, from that, um, uh, we actually last year, uh, for the first time, did Operation Y Pittsburgh, where we provided that same service to patients who are um, unable to have resources to uh, have hip or knee replacement surgery, but provided it here at home in Pittsburgh. It's kind of coinciding with the Thanksgiving holiday, um, which we think sort of makes sense. Uh, to provide this uh, uh, to to these patients who uh, need uh, this type of health care. Um, the, the, the decision has been made to kind of offer it this week or right around the Thanksgiving time, and actually now it's, it's actually turned into a national program, so there are actually patients across the entire country either this week or next week who are getting uh, essentially free care for their um, for joint replacement, again, of the hip or knee. And what our program does, uh, specifically in Pittsburgh, is identify patients over the past six months to a year who can qualify for this program. They have to meet certain criteria, um, and if they meet those criteria, then they're able to uh, pursue care within, within this type of program. Um, and so typically, initially, they get one assessed to make sure that they're a candidate for joint replacement surgery, that they've failed conservative things, so things that we can do other than surgery to try to help their problem. But when they get to the point where their arthritis is bad enough and that they've failed other measures, then we offer them surgery, which is the way we treat our patients who have, have resources also. And then we have one day that we spend in the operating room uh, where we uh, per perform the surgery. Uh, myself and Dr. DeJoya uh, provide our services as surgeons in terms of both their perioperative care in terms of doing the operation and then their care postoperatively. But then McGee uh, and UPMC provide all the other support, the nursing support, the physical therapy support, uh, the home health service support, so these patients can have um, the full breadth of care, not just the surgery, but the full breadth of care until they're fully recovered from their operation. Um, tell me how many people um, are involved with Operation Walk to make this, this event happen here in Pittsburgh. Sure. The, the number is really hard to count. I mean, there's uh, probably upwards of 100 people, truthfully, who, who help. Uh, there's a lot of work that gets done um, to uh, fundraise throughout the year for Operation Walk that goes overseas, uh, but uh, there's also a lot of work done that is done locally to get the patients ready for surgery. So it's everyone in, in our office staff, uh, who, which number 15 to 20 people, the LWAR crew, numbers 5 to 10 people, the anesthesia, fac the anesthesia crew, uh, the nursing staff, the physical therapy staff, and it's really uh, a, a it's amazing, actually, that all these people and then the, all these people are essentially giving their time freely uh, to provide this care for these patients. Um, I think it says a lot, really, about uh, about us as as caregivers that uh, it's not always all about the dollar. It's really about providing what's best for our patients. That's what that's what this is about. So it's it's uh, probably why we all have in, originally went into this is for these kind of things. It really makes you feel good about uh, about what you do. And uh, since this is the second la uh, and since this is the second class for Operation Walk, uh, tell me about the uh, initial patients. How are they doing? Well, it's interesting. I uh, had a nice surprise today. Uh, we're having a little bit of a kind of post 
kind of a pre-Thanksgiving celebration of uh, providing the care this year. And the patients from last year actually came back today to let us know how they were doing. And uh, they're actually all doing fantastic. Uh, and it's nice to kind of catch up with them because um, uh, we haven't seen them for a while since it's been a while since they had their initial surgery. Uh, and uh, it's nice to see them all walking and smiling and, and telling that, telling and them uh, expanding on what they're doing now and, and uh, that they're enjoying uh, their uh, ability to uh, walk and, and uh, live life and, 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 and uh, do it without pain.